Okay, today we're going to review quiz 19, multiple choice, the problems that uh, the most people missed. Number one, you should have said uh, 3.6 times 9, and that gives you 32.4. That's not in scientific notation, so you've got a bit of a problem there. But looking at the powers, your original power is negative 4 plus 8, which is positive 4. So here's your first answer, 32.4 times 10 to the 4th. Now that's not in scientific notation, and neither is answer A. The decimal has to go after the first digit, and there has to be a power of 10, so B can't be the answer either. Now this 32.4 would be 3.24 times 10 to the 1st. Put those powers together, and you get 3.24 times 10 to the 5th. On this one, probably if you missed it, you said 3 times 1 was 3. No, the answer is not 3 in the numerator. 1 to the third power is equal to 1. And 7 times 7 is 49 times 7 is answer D. Nobody missed number 3, so I'm not going to worry about number 3. A couple people missed number 4. You should have said, um, on Earth, a person weighs 156 pounds on the space station. They weigh 21 pounds. And then the equipment weighed 1560. And you might have seen something there. Um, but if you didn't, it's okay. Because it asks you about the space station. So if you did do the cross products, you would say 156S equals 21 times 1560. You would divide both sides by 156 which is easy, and the answer is 210 pounds, which is answer B. On this one, a few people missed it. Um, you need to just probably do two numbers at a time, so negative 3 plus positive 6 is positive 3. Negative 2 subtract 2 is negative 3 plus 8, so 3 minus 3 is 0 plus 8, and your answer is D. Number six, a couple people missed, and they may have not been paying close attention to the equal sign. There is no equal sign, so it's going to be an open circle, which when you have a multiple choice test, you know you can eliminate some answers. It means it has to be either A or it has to be C. This has a solid dot. This has a solid dot. It can't be that. Now it says X is less than, and less than is colored to the left, so A is not correct. C is the correct answer. Now the problem that we had the most issues with was number seven. Uh, surface area of a cylinder. Remember there are three parts. Here's your top, here's your bottom, and here's your sides, which are, is a rectangle. And these are pi r squared, and this is pi dh. So you would say surface area equals two pi r squared plus pi dh. And you would substitute in 3.14. Your radius is 5, so 5 squared would be 25. Plus, it would be 3.14 times. Your diameter would be 10, since your radius is 5. And the height of the figure, sorry I covered it up, but it, it's 7. And I believe the correct answer was B. On the back, uh, no one missed number 8 or 10 but some people missed number 9. So remember this is just cross products. So you're going to say 2 fifths times, and you're going to say 4 times 6 is 24 plus 1 is 25 over 6 equals 4 times 3 is 12 plus 2 is 14 over 3 times x. You're going to multiply by the reciprocal. You don't even need to do a separate step. Just put 3 over 14. 5 will cancel out 5, and 5 will go into 25 5 times. 2 will go into 6 3 times. 3 will go into 3 1 time. And that leaves us the answer of 5 14 equals x.